G'day guys, Bernie here with Fish and Boat Magazine and we're doing part two of the how to take your $500 tinny and turn it into a fish catching weapon. So the uh, the first video got some uh, some really good responses so hopefully there's been plenty of people that have been you know rekindling the relationship with that little old tinny that's been sitting down the back of the yard for for years and years and got it back out and um, cleaned her up and taken it out to catch some fish in it again so yeah, so let's have a little walkthrough of, of part two and uh, let's get into it. A little cruisy. Yeah, I've been out getting some love. Oh, actually, so I don't know if you know, if you watch, if you watch the first video, he's got me in trouble. Someone blabbed to the missus and she lost her shit. Let's have a quick recap. She's all ready to go. I'm get the missus out here to pull some of these weeds out though. Don't tell her I said that. So yeah, so she's thrown a shit fit and can't believe you put that on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so look at us now though. Look at that, concrete is king. No more weeds. No more weeds, boys. Bloody awesome. So we've got uh, J and C Howard Concreting to thank for this. Uh, yeah, Jace. J and C Howard Concreting, yep. So thanks very much, Jace. Bloody um, looks amazing. Yeah, if you need any any concrete done, just make sure you uh, make sure you look, give Jace a yell. So anyway, on to more important things, Tinny. All right, so not too much has changed since last time. A few little differences. Uh, first of all, the electric motor. So I'm in Coda It's just a 12 volt, 55 pound motor, which is all you need for for these little tinnies. Um, on the bottom there is actual the actual Minn Kota, uh quick release bracket. So a little difference is, so you can see where you put your lock through, it's actually sideways. Uh, some of the other ones have actually got the hole on the top and sometimes it can be hard to get your little lock in there if you want, so you'll get a lock in there, no worries. So that's why I went that way. So yeah, the electric motor is gonna keep us in position. Uh, once we find those fish, keep us in position, we can move around, sort of a little bit of stealth mode, all that sort of thing, and they are definitely well worth the money. Alright, next thing we can talk about here is uh, we've got battery boxes just to make it look a little bit neater. Uh, one under the under the passenger, so the feet, will, whoever sits there, the feet will just go over the top of that. And the other battery box there is for the sounder. So these these aren't set to charge or anything like that. So you bring it home, as long as you've got uh, a battery charger or two, depending if you're going to go the next day. Uh, so you just pull up, put the battery charger on there, make sure they're fully charged for, for the next trip. So up the front, we're still, yeah, the anchors and stuff are there, so we need to build ourselves like a little false floor in here. Uh, it'll stop that those uh, that bit of gear and stuff rowing on the hull as well, and plus it'll make it look a little bit neater too. So that's still on the um, on the to-do list. So bucket seats, one for the passenger, one for the driver. Nice and comfy, and um, then you're out fishing, you need um, you need to be comfortable. So yeah, we rip the old seats out, put a couple of new bucket seats in and used them already, brilliant, so. All right, let's keep going. The 1940s Tahatsu, still um, still going well, a couple of pulls and she's um, she's a ripper, so. Uh, yeah, the transducer has been put on the back. So this is just the, um, for the Hummerbird Helix, which is that fella there, so that's a 12 inch. Uh, and depending on your budget, you can go for a 10, you can go for a nine, uh, but I would definitely, stick with hummingbird so so hummingbird's got the best um, imaging um, in the creeks and estuaries by a long way so if you need to save your pennies for a little bit longer just to get one I highly recommend it and back in the day um, when I very first got my hummingbird especially with the mega imaging in the gen 2 gen 3 gen 4s in the helixes um, my results and and fishing started to started to greatly increase as well so yeah no bullshit we're going to in part three we're actually going to have a look at it uh, i'm going to take it out and show you exactly what you need to do what we're what we're looking at on the screen and what you need to do to find those rich fish rich areas and um and, and make the most of it so but that'll be part three so stay tuned for that one so yeah awesome and um yeah, so this is basically just going back to 
back to basics, you know, going back to the um, the old school days. So this is the original tinny that I had when I very first got my license about 20 years ago. So, you know, a couple of little improvements there. And um, yeah, we'll show you uh, that you don't need a big flash tinny or a big flash boat to catch good fish. So we're gonna have a look at a few little results now. And yeah, stay tuned for, for number three when we, we get down and dirty with some, uh, some settings and, and some techniques. Great basher. She's got, got the goods. Oh man, 51 centimeter jack. Oh, awesome. Going in another one. Good jack. Good jack. Oh. In the box. In the boat. Oh. It is definitely possible to get good sized fish from a little tinny. That bar is 93. Awesome, we'll put it back. Tag in, ready for release. There goes a little mullet. Go. Hey, Braxy boy. That's the biggest one I caught. That's the juicy, the biggest one I caught. There you go. Good. Good. Hooked up. Oh, are we keeping him? No, nah, we gotta let him go, buddy. Yeah. But can we measure him? Yeah. Hope he's bigger than my 80 centimeter. Could be. Oh. Oh, Dad. Oh, really there we go. Oh. There you go, big man. Good. Oh, oh yeah. What would you be? You bargain? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good bit of getting in. <laughs> uh, nah, hummingbird. Put us on the fish. Oh. Good on you, mate. Well done. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Yeah, buddy.